Now we'll go to abdomen. First of all, about CT urography and CT KUB. Tell us the difference between these two, urography and KUB plane. So KUB, when it comes, it's usually a plane scan done only for calculus disease. Uh, CT urography is where we give intravenous contrast and typically you do a plane scan which is your KUB. Then you do an arterial phase study where all the arteries are highlighted and vascularity of tumors is highlighted. Then you have a venous phase where the veins are highlighted. Then you have a delayed phase after 10 to 15 minutes. So you can see the ureters, you can see the urinary bladder opacified with the contrast like we used to do with intravenous urograms with x-rays, you know, you injected dye and then kept taking x-rays till 30 minutes sometimes and things like that. So that is CT urography. So when, uh, when we are suspecting a calculus only, we order a CT KUB and what do you do when you are suspecting pyelonephritis? What CT do you order? Is a plain CT useful or we have to give contrast in pyelonephritis? So in suspect Suspected pyelonephritis, I would first start with ultrasound. That is the uh, good modality. Only if you don't find obvious evidence or if there is still a discrepancy or you still not sure what's going on, then you do a CT urogram. And uh, how will a urogram show pyelonephritis. It has a pattern, pattern of... Yeah. Which will not be obvious on CTKUB. No, no, so no. So contrast no. will be needed you need for pyelonephritis. Contrast. Yeah, 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 yeah. So contrast in uh, kidneys will be needed for infections like pyelonephritis, for tumors. What else? Assessing function. Sometimes when you're not very sure what the effect of that calculus is, then you would uh, do it. Um, you would also do it for all bladder related, but it's the same thing, infections and tumors is what you do, sometimes congenital conditions as well. What about